This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. Hello, my name's Mary Watkins, and I'd like to welcome you, parents, teachers, student teachers, children, to the early years mathematics mesh. A few years ago, I was given a wonderful opportunity to volunteer with VSO in Rwanda. I worked as a methodology and resources advisor at a teacher training college in the far southwest of the country in a very, very remote area. Uh, I found that most of the teachers that were teaching in the area had just two teaching aids, a piece of chalk and a chalkboard. So the methodology basically was chalk and talk. Now, I've always been interested in teaching maths and we really wanted to try and get the children to be using resources. But the problem is if you haven't got the resources and they're very expensive, then it can be difficult. So it was time to get creative. And we started to look at how we could make resources from low cost or preferably no cost materials. But even the raw materials can cost money. So we started to collect things that we could use, bottle tops, just such a wonderful uh, resource that's available freely. Things like bits of cardboard can be turned into dice or cubes or flashcards, uh, any empty boxes you can utilise and get creative with, old plastic containers can be used for storage, they can be used to make abacuses. And one of the, probably the best resource that I really found very useful in Rwanda were the milk bags and the juice and milk cartons because they've got this fantastic foil lining that just makes such a durable resource. So I worked with the students and we worked very hard to make sets of resources and learned not only how to make them but also how to use them effectively in the classroom. And it got to the point where People would be bringing their rubbish and their waste and challenging me to make a, trying to make a resource out of it. The other advantage of these resources is using them is that there's an environmental impact. These, there are many, many bottle tops that are just thrown away in Rwanda. And if you dig in the soil there, you'll often find bottle tops. Well, these can get in the way of a germinating seed. They really can have a bit of a problem. And plastic. We're all very aware of the problems with plastic pollution these days. So if we can reuse the plastic and turn it into something useful, then we're actually helping to solve a big problem of all the waste that's thrown away. So it's a bit of a double, double whammy, if you like. We're making resources that the children can use and the teachers can use, but we're also helping the planet by reducing the amount of waste we throw away. Purpose of these videos is to help teachers think about their teaching to make it more meaningful and interactive and to improve the learning outcomes of the children through the use of practical resources. Uh, it's especially aimed at those teachers who find that they can't use resources, they have no resources or resources are too expensive or they're not possible to buy them. So this is where we're using waste materials and locally found materials that have no cost or low cost and we're showing you how to make these resources and how to use them with the children. It can also be used by teachers who do have resources and materials because there's a great environmental impact of this project because what we're actually doing is we're reusing materials that would be thrown away otherwise. We haven't been able to deliver maths lessons back in the UK now using some of the resources that you will have seen in this video and the children really enjoy using these waste materials. So we really hope that you enjoy the videos, that you take away something from them. The idea is that you're going to make your teacher practical, playful and fun. The children are going to enjoy it and to be honest, so will the teachers. Okay, all the resources seen in the video and many more are available in this manual that I have written. Uh, which is freely available on the web um, and designed to help teachers, parents, grandparents and anybody who's interested in helping the children to learn and to develop their understanding of mathematics. So please use it, enjoy it and I hope you find it useful.
OK, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.